Hello everyone, this is Introvert Shy Guy, and welcome to my gameplay of Super Luigi Galaxy. So yeah, I'm back to making another part for um, an SLG part because I still have more politics to talk about, especially after, you know, a certain infamous event that I'm actually surprised happened that, like, you know, thankfully would have, I mean, thankfully didn't turned out to be worse, but, you know, could have been something worse, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, today is July the 18th, so basically, obviously, this is after the Trump assassination attempt, and I'm like, I literally just can't believe that this event kinda almost happened, and yet he was, like, millimeters away from instant death, you know? Like, the fact that it only just grazed his ear and, like, you know, didn't really, like, blow his head off was like absolutely something it was basically like a miracle you know like the fact that trump is still alive and you know he's not dead and everything like and i'm really happy that's what ha that he didn't get killed because if he did i'd be kind of depressed because you guys know i'm not really voting for trump i'm voting for jill stein but i want trump to win so then he could accelerate the decline of the u.s empire and that's what I'm hoping, but the problem is, is that, like, you know, I, I don't like, spent, like, say with the assassination attempt, I, I, like, you know, it, it all depends on, like, Trump staying alive and stuff. Yeah, usually beats levels are my least favorite, but I think this one is okay, so I'll, I'll do a level for this. Secret Undersea Cavern. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, at some point you have to do th these levels and stuff. Oh yeah, it's this one. That one's pretty fun. If I can get to it, that's the question, which... I think will happen. I mean, of course it'll happen, but you know, like I'm, I'm hoping it'd be like very uh, chill to get to, you know. Anyway, so basically that's why I'm doing an SLG part because after this incident, and also this is, uh, I'm also recording. Pro I think this is the last day of the Republican National Convention, which so far is going like great, like for Trump from how things are going. If you look closely, there's a crack. I'm assuming I'd have to have something to destroy it. Maybe a shell? Well, let's actually open up that chest. I see there was like a chest glowing. I wanted to see what's uh, in it. Hang on. I have to go back and go around. Oh, fuck. At least I killed it. Let's get some air. There we go. Alright, so... Yeah, so basically... I mean... You know, and then we found out that basically, like, you know, the Secret Service was really shit with how they, you know... They, like, secured the area and stuff, which allows me to believe, I, I think, like, it's like as if the Deep State is trying to kill Trump because they know that he's, like, very unpredictable and stuff, and... With the whole Ukraine proxy war and everything going on, they like, you know, are really banking on... There you go, okay, so it does destroy it. Just really banking on, like, you know, Trump losing so then they could continue their goal of, like, you know, restoring the United States as the sole, like, you know, superpower of the world. I mean, of course it is a superpower, but with no great powers uh, to compete it with. Like, especially, especially, like, during the 90s when the Soviet Union uh, collapsed and stuff. Hang on. Yeah, I would have to do it that way. Okay. Okay, we get some coins, that's good. I'll break those crates. Oh, come on. Just when I got a coin. Alright. Oh, wait, I could just spin. What am I doing? There you go. Oh, come on. Let's try to... Oh, okay, so this is very easy to do. That's nice. Yeah, so... You know... So, like, you know, the thing is, though, is that, like... Because, like, like I said, Trump, he's very unpredictable and stuff. And I... The deep state, I mean, obviously Trump does, like, do service to the deep state, but he's not, like, you know, extremely loyal, you know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck, I think it's gonna, yeah. 
Hang on. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. Yeah, so he's not very loyal to the deep state, but... He, he does fuck. I don't know why I... Sorry. Just got distracted. I forgot to, you know... But thankfully there are checkpoints. Let's see if I can go. Yes. Yeah, so, like... You know, because Trump not, like, destroying Syria, which was the number one goal of the deep state, that was, that was enough for them to not, like, be 100% in favor of Trump, and hence they'd be fine with him losing, or better yet, killed, because Joe Biden is far more loyal to the deep state than, than Donald Trump is, so hence that's why... Ah, uh, fuck. Fucked it again. And that, hence that's why, you know, like, uh... I'm led to believe that they purposely, like, ter ter like, toned down Secret Service, so it's like, as if there was, like, a point where someone tries to assassinate Trump, like, what the guy did, you know, like, uh, then it would work out well for the deep state, because, like, Joe Biden is, like, very good with serving the deep state so far, and hence that's why I want him to lose, because, like, you know, I'm, I'm afraid that if Joe Biden is reelected, then World War III might, might happen. Now, of course, now there comes the time where, like, there is now discussions of some of Joe Biden being replaced, you know, which is surprising because I thought with the assassination attempt, it kind of, like, sucked all the energy for, uh... I gotta go this way. It, like, sucked all the energy for Trump... I mean, for Joe Biden being replaced, you know? I think I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I go that way. You know, just sucked all the energy for Joe Biden being replaced because everyone was just talking about, oh, Trump almost getting killed and everything. But no, now that discussion is back, and especially considering that, like, Chuck Schumer is now... Hang on. I don't think it's going to go this way. Yeah, I knew it. There's, like, a bump right here. It has to be a flat ground like this. So it makes sense that, you know... Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to have to go this way. Is there... Oh, oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was a... Yeah. This is kind of a maze of it, so you have to really, you know... Okay, good. Right here. Yeah, so... Oh, fuck. There you go, yeah, I was like, shit, that's an opening. Gotta continue. Okay, it's right there. It's gonna not get crushed. There we go. And there we have it. Got our star. Yeah, so, you know... And, like, you know, because now, like, Chuck Schubert's, like, say, in favor of it. I don't know if he said publicly. I mean, I know Adam shifted, but Chuck Schubert, I think it's, like, behind the scenes as well as, as, well as like, Nancy Pelosi and Hakeem Jeffries. And I'm still hoping Joe Biden remains a nominee because, like I said, I believe he would crash the Democratic Party hard. But then again, if there's another candidate, like, say, Kamala Harris would do even worse, then you know what? Okay, then bring on Kamala Harris. But I'm just afraid that, like, some polls say that they're, like, fine with a generic Democrat. Just, they just won't vote for Joe Biden. And I really hope that's not the case because if it is, you know, then, like, it would be not good for... The decline of the U.S. Empire, the destruction of the U.S. Empire, which is kind of fa like, like, I mean, it's kind of unbelievable in a way, like, because I remember people were hating on Kamala Harris to the point where she had worse approval ratings than fucking Dick Cheney. Now, of course, in my opinion, I mean, Dick Cheney is far worse than Harris. Like, I know people say Harris is like the worst vice, but like Dick Cheney was like far worse, considering the fact. Oh, how come I didn't do this? Interesting, because like, like the fact that like. Dick Cheney, him being like like behind every disastrous decision for George W. Bush, you know, like, um, yeah, I would say it's kind of I would say it's kind of exaggerated to say that oh like Harris is worse than Dick Cheney. No, I mean I would say Kamala Harris is maybe would I say just as bad as Dick Cheney? I would no actually because like she's she's the one of the worst vice presidents, but she's not worse than Dick Cheney. Yeah, yeah, I'll just say she's bad, but she's not like as bad as Dick Cheney or worse, you know, because, like, um, 
The things that Dick Cheney is like the supportive of and everything is like absolutely horrendous. That's not to say that Kamala has to be good at present, because I'm afraid that you guys remember when they were calling for no-fly zone over Ukraine after the when the Ukraine proxy war started? Because there is a possibility that Harris would have like taken the pressure and would have like implemented the, the no-fly zone over Ukraine, which would have been extremely disastrous, you know? But thankfully, because it was Joe Biden, even though Joe Biden like caused all this, uh, but he's at least not as like insane as like Kamala Harris and stuff. So. And that's what I'm saying, is that, like, yeah, it's cause I think I'm gonna have to... Oh, okay, never mind. This is the star, so I'm gonna have to go this way. Yeah. Oh, okay, there it is. Yeah, so it's like, you know, with Joe Biden, like, he at least knows what what to do to not make things disastrous for, for Harris? I have no trust in her, and hence I'm afraid that if she gets elected, then things would be really into deep shit, you know? So that's what I'm afraid of. Okay, we're gonna have to pass these things. These meteors. Oh, fuck. Uh. Come on. There we go. Oh, fuck. That was close. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's right there. Oh, come on, there we go, got it. Yeah, so... So, you know, that's what I'm saying, like, I'm just really afraid that if Harris is elected, then we'd be in deep shit, so hence that's why I want Joe Biden to stay as a nominee. And I also want Joe Biden to stay alive until January 21st, 2020, I mean, 2025. So then, like, we wouldn't have President Harris and, like, you know... Also, take out the first female president out if Harris, like, you know, does become the president and stuff. Because I'm hoping a legit female president would be elected on her own merit and not anointed, you know? Kind of like how, like, Brazil and Mexico elected their presidents and stuff. Although, fun fact, you know when Woodrow Wilson, at the end of his second term, he was kind of... Uh, partially paralyzed and stuff. I, th I, th I don't know if partially paralyzed, but he was completely immobile. So he had to have his wife basically do some presidential duty. So you could say, like, she was basically the first female president, but not entirely, basically. She was basically, it was kind of similar to, like, Dick Cheney, you know, like, even though, like, he, he was, like, running some stuff and everything was Bush that was on paper the president and stuff. So... That's why we don't refer to her as the first female president, because, you know, that thing's still locked. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to do this at some point, so let's do it. Even though it's my least favorite level, but, you know. I'm going after Guppy. Oh. oh. I think this is a race. You know, the one with the... The, the shark thing? Yeah, yeah, this guy. Okay, that one's, that one's good, because that one's like... Easy, you know. Just gotta do a race, and then that's it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's talk to Toad. So that's the hooligan that's been causing trouble. Yeah. Well, I'll teach him. Huh. Yeah. We're gonna have to go towards him. Yeah, I'll just do this. Cause... Now, who do we have here? You, some friend of those penguins? Let's get something clear here, Landwalker. The sea is mine, see? If you want it back, show some gills and make it through eight rings. 
just started even though... Oh, that's because, uh... Oh yeah, because it's not really a race, it's just going through rings. We have to get the shell. Make things a lot easier, you know? There we go. Yeah, just gotta get some air. There we go. So it's not really a race, okay. Oh, that's good. Maybe this won't be so bad, but let's find out. Yeah, so... What was I talking about? Shit. Hang on. Oh, fuck. Come on. Go, go, go in. Oh, man. That was close. I don't know why that happened. But... Oh, fuck. Three. Two more. There we go. Got it. It was easy. <laughs> I hit it towards the nice. Oh, fuck. Not bad for a landwalker. Well, I'm a fish of my word. The sea's all yours, buddy. What's with the star then? It's like an extra? Yay, Luigi, I was going to teach him a lesson, but you beat me to it. Nice. Alright. Yeah, I'm actually just glad that I was able to make a gameplay video of this, you know, because I don't know if either today or at some day maybe Joe Biden would step aside and, like, that would piss me off because I want to make a video before that happens. Like, just say my thoughts and everything, you know? And now I wanted to say, like, maybe the, in terms of, like, pl the election and stuff, if Trump would be able to win, and I hope he does, but the thing is, as I'm worried about, is that there's going to be a few abortion referendums in, in certain states. I know there's going to be one in Arizona, and I'm, like, wondering, well, shit, like, would that go to Biden because, like, we have the abortion referendum and everything. But... I don't know, I feel like there, there are a significant chunk of Trump voters that would vote for him based on the economy and immigration, but they would just disagree on abortion and just have their own state, you know, uh, just be pro-choice, you know? Because I know, like, you want to know something about ballot initiatives? That sometimes even the conser conservative candidate like Trump would, would win, like, the state even though, like, voters pass a left-wing policy and stuff. Like, you know, my state of Florida, we passed medical marijuana and uh, increasing the minimum wage even though Trump won the state two times, you know? Because of course, like, you have people like me that was never going to vote Democrat, but I didn't really vote for Trump, and yeah, I voted for the uh, ballot initiatives and stuff, even though I didn't vote Democrat. So it's like there's plenty of voters like me that do that, and also plenty of Trump voters that vote like, left-wing on policy initiatives, but would vote right-wing for the candidate, you know? So, I'm hoping maybe that would be similar for, uh... Uh... Okay, we didn't do much here, so yeah, let's do this one. I'm hoping it would be the case for, like, Trump winning the state of Arizona, but yet, like, maybe the abortion reform then passes and stuff. That's what I'm hoping. Freeze flame blistering court. Because he really, yeah, I mean, it's good that you have Arizona as a buffer, but he doesn't really need to win it to win the election. You would just need the, water, the rust belts, you know? So hopefully that happens. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay, we gotta get those. Nice. Under. Oh fuck. I did not see that.
Sorry for the pauses and stuff, just trying to think of what to say next. Oh yeah, I know I need to have the fire flower, but I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to find it. We have to go up here. Oh, okay, maybe yeah, I'm supposed to go here. Or go that way, I mean. Okay, put out those fires. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, okay, there it is, there it is. Sorry about that. Oh, I see, it's just decorations for the fire flower. What the fuck? Oh, come on. Thankfully I have damage immunity. Nice. Oh, come on. It's fucking things up today. Uh, take out these guys. Oh, just one. Okay, nice. All of the timer's still going, even though there was a cutscene. Fuck. I was about to get the coin and then I lost that shit. Wow. I'm gonna start all over. Alright. So, yeah, so. Because, you know, obviously now the election's in full- I mean, not, not the election, I mean, like, well, the, there is- the, the election is kind of in full swing, but, like, you have to wait for the- after the DNC convention, and then once the ballots are available, then, like, the election is in full swing. But right now, like, we have the Republican convention, and oh yeah, I forgot, um, Trump chose J.D. Vance as his running mate. And out of the options that the- that he- that was on the list on Wikipedia, yeah, he was the least bad option, even though I'm aware that, I mean, obviously he is, like, Republican, so he is going to be, like, pro-war and, and all that stuff. Although, I mean, to be fair, maybe not as warmongering as Biden and stuff, but, but still, like, you know, he is kind of some populism in, in some ways, not entirely. Okay, nice. That was a bit tricky. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Nice. All right. Okay, we gotta now do this. Yeah, so he's the least bad option. There was clearly no, like, better candidate and stuff, so I'm glad he picked him. Mm, excuse me, I'm pretty sure he will definitely help with Trump winning the necessary states. Definitely a better pick than Mike Pence, that's for sure. I'm aware why he had to pick Mike Pence, because he had to attract those, like, conservative evangelical voters, especially the ones that were, like, very distrustful of, uh, Trump, you know, because him being very crass and stuff. So hence, that's why he chose, like, Pence as, like, that, like, very vanilla Christian guy, I would say. And, like, to contrast with, with Trump being, like, extremely bombastic and everything. And, of course, it's quite a shame that he chose him because we all know that Pence is, like, a, a rhino and pro-war and stuff. Uh, but I'm, I am, I understand why he chose him, especially considering that he had to attract some of those Ted Cruz voters and stuff. He probably didn't choose him, he probably would have lost the election, you know, so... He had to choose Pence, which was a, a good option, you know? Also, because you have to understand, you know, Wisconsin, even though it was like a Rust Belt state, it voted for Cru for Cruz, so, you know, like, he had to get some of those voters. I mean, as well as, I, I mean, I think he also had a sizable support in Michigan as well, and, uh, not so much in Pennsylvania, because Trump overwhelmingly won that, but he had to, you know, like I said, get some of those evangelical votes, and, like, the... the race was very close to these states, so of course him choosing 
Mike Pence was a great choice, you know? Can't wait to watch the, pres the vice presidential debate so that he can crush Kamala Harris, that's for sure. Talking about J.D. Vance, not, not Pence, even though I was talking about Pence in the, before that, you know? Okay. So we're gonna continue on. But yeah, so then the Republican convention is full swing. So far, it's really, really good for Trump. I also love how the West Virginia Senate candidate, Jim Justice, he brought his dog named Baby Dog, and it was so cute. Just a fat, like, English bulldog. Kind of looks like him in a way, considering he's also pretty fat. So, you know, yeah, it's a pretty nice little addition to add in the GOP convention, I have to say. Uh... I keep on looking for more galaxies, like which one's like, you know, my favorite. I'm also aware I'm very close to getting enough stars to go to the, to do the final battle against Bowser, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get to 120, or 119 actually, and then do the Bowser fight, because of course you have to do that in order to 100% the game, so um, that's what I'm going to do. Let's see, did I check here? Let's go all the way up top. We haven't done that, right? Okay, so... Yeah, and, I'm, and I know John, like, RFK Jr. is running, and I hope he doesn't take away vo votes from Trump. It takes away more votes from Biden. That'd be great. Obviously, we want some votes, the votes to split, so then Trump would be elected, which would be great for the decline of the empire. Okay, let's see, there's that, there's this. Uh, I'm not too fond of this level either. Should I do... Nah, I think I'll just keep on looking. Still, that one's not unlocked. Wow. Okay. Maybe I should do. Yeah, let's do the Hungry Luma ones, I guess. Just to, you know. Like. Do a nice, like, very fun start to do, I would say. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, let's see. We'll do the Hungry Lumas. Let's go... Yeah, let's do that one right there. Start with the low ones, then we'll go high, you know? Or let's first check the galaxies in this dome, you know, and see if there's anything fun to do, you know? Yeah, okay, so we'll do a Hungry Luma. Okay, hey you, yeah, I got any Starbucks. 400, okay, sure thing. Okay. Sling Pod Galaxy. Oh shit, it's a race. Alright, we'll do it. It's fine. A very sticky situation. Nice. Is it a race? Maybe it's just an obstacle course. If that's the case, then that'd be very easy. Oh, okay, never mind. It's not a race. Okay, so this I can do. 
I didn't want to pull too because you know you're at that spot where you would get, you would touch a bomb if you go way too far back. So that's why I did it that way. Oh, okay, got it. Even though this one has those things. Okay. Yeah, he won't touch that. Wow. Okay. Oh god, there we go, got it. Okay. Hang on. Wait. Aha, uh -huh, got it. Oh yeah, we gotta also get some momentum. So hang on. There we go. Oh no! Oh fuck. I wonder if there's a checkpoint for this. Oh, okay, yes, they're very forgiving. Nice. I'm happy about that. Of course, you'd start all over once you run out of lives, which is actually fair. Especially considering I already have shit tons, so I'm good already. Oh, fuck. Oh damn. Yeah, so... And then of course, like, you know, I'm, I'm, as what I was saying, yeah, so, like, the election right now... I think it's in Trump's favor, especially after the assassination attempt. He should be gaining just a few percentage points because of that. Unless, of course, if that doesn't happen, then, like, yeah, that means a big section of the country already made up their minds and everything. But I feel like... Or this will, I mean, this will strengthen his base, that's for sure. Like, how he looked, like, that picture of him with his fists up, bloodied and everything. That was phenomenal, I have to admit. There you go, got it. Oh, fuck, this is one of those, like, you gotta wait. There you go, got it. And I have to... how is that supposed to look? Oh fuck. Got it! Damn, that was close. Well, that small fire... Yeah, it does, but it's, it's very, very slow. Oh fuck. Hang on. Hang on. Gotta readjust. There you go, got it. Wow, that was tricky. Let's do another Hungry Luma. We still got enough star bits. Yeah, because I still want to talk some more. Oh yeah, we, we got it, we did it! We got all the stars for Bowser. Oh, okay, so you need 60. Unlike in Super Mario 64, you just need 70. This is like the first 3D Mario by the, 3D Mario game, by the way, where it's like a set limit of stars to get to Bowser. Unlike, say, in Super Mario Sunshine, where I thought it was like a set number of shine sprites, but then, of course, it turns out it's basically after you get to the last level, which is the, uh, those Hermit Crab people's, like, pl like place uh, of Isle Delfino, then you basically have to complete all the Shadow Mario shine sprites in order to get to Bowser, and I didn't know about that, which I ended up getting over a hundred Shine Sprites in my old file, you know? Oh, and, oh okay, yeah, yeah, that's the Bowser one. Never mind. Save, yeah. The Common Obser Observatory has full power. Now it can fly through the cosmos again. Nice. 
It's time. Do you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? No. Please speak to me again when you're ready. No, we're gonna get all the stars, then we do this. How is that? Is this. Will this game, like, accept it that I finished it? Or would I have to do the Bowser battle again? Because, like, you know, like, I have to get to 120, then they're like, oh, you got 120, now you gotta do the battle again. That kind of thing. I hope it doesn't do that, I don't think, but, you know, you never know. Okay, we'll do another Hungry Luma. And then, of course, we'll read the story of Rosalina. I mean, not, not in this gameplay, of course, because we're running low on time, but, you know. Yeah, Starbits. 600. Oh, yeah, we have plenty. Yeah, drip drop. Don't remember this one. <coughs> I think this will be my last one. Giant eel outbreak. Oh. I don't remember much of it, but I think once I... Oh yeah, this one. Uh, that one's probably gonna be tricky. Now you have to collect the silver stars, I think this is it. Grandpa's getting old. <laughs> That's it. Oh, I wanted to talk to him. Ever since those big eels showed up, we haven't caught any fish. Get, get rid of those. Oh, okay. We gotta kill those eels. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, that was close. Oh, okay, use these ones. These are heat seekers. Yeah, so we gotta use red shells. Or green ones if they're like right there. Yeah. Way, but let's see if we can find a red shell and okay so it's always gonna be on the toad uh... there we go damn that was short and I didn't talk much okay we're gonna do another another level That one bull bill is following me. Oh, come on. They like let it hit me and like, yeah, so then, okay, that's okay, it only takes one damage. There we go. Oh, finally that galaxy's open. Okay, good, so we'll check that out. Where is that? Is that that's at the, uh... Garden... Uh, engine room, okay. Alright, let's do it. So, yeah, so, uh... That's what I'm... So, yeah, uh, so... Trump has it good so far, but we gotta hope... Well, I'm gonna definitely watch his convention speech, see how, how it goes. And then hopefully when the DNC convention happens, they nominate Biden, or someone that would definitely lose to Trump. And, this, and it would destroy the Democratic Party, that's what I'm hoping. Bonefish guy, oh okay, it's the boss battle, yeah, let's do it.
Kingfin's Fearsome Waters. It's that bonefish monster. Okay. Gotta get a green shell. I was gonna have those those heat seeker mini bone fish. Oh god. We gotta find Oh god. I love how the music gets more intense if you're close to him. Whoa! Fuck. Okay, at least I got that. Oh, oh fuck. There you go. Get another, get a heat seeker shell, nice. Okay, we did it. Oh no, wait, we didn't do it, fuck. Okay, uh, it's just upping difficulty, huh? I spoke too soon. Okay. No, fuck. We're gonna have to go around because I don't want to be like next to the front. There you go. Just being so slow. I really want to shell. Oh, here we go. There we go. And we did it. Yeah, I guess that's it. Probably ended off here. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know if Joe Biden is going to be replaced. I mean, he might. I just hope that that person that's like either Harris and stuff would be able to lose heart against Trump hopefully but if not then I just hope that Biden is renominated so then he can lose heart to Trump and then like the political parties can the Democratic Party would be severe, severely like destroyed and like you know so then the revolution will happen you know that's what I'm hoping for you know accelerationism and all you watch my Banjo Kazooie gameplay because I talked a lot about that, so. But yeah, I think. You know, I'm sorry to run out of things to talk about, about politics, but I think I talked enough, so maybe in my next gameplay would probably be Princess Evangel. I'd probably go on that. I know I haven't done Princess Evangel in a while, but that's because, like, because this is the election season, I want to talk more about politics and everything than I do want to play. Princess Evangel, hence that's why, like, it's kind of low on that, but I think I'll come back to it. And as I post this video out, like, maybe Biden is gonna be replaced, and so then this video is, like, not, like, relevant, but... 
you guys get the idea, especially I'm talking about it in July 18th, so... Yeah. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm actually really thankful that Trump survived the assassination attempt. It's actually good that it kind of is like a blessing in disguise because now that like is a major boost to his campaign, especially how he looked when he triumphantly put his fists in the air all bloodied and stuff. That was so badass. I mean, you have to admit, even if you are a Trump hater, you know, like the way he handled it. I mean, he was like millimeters away from death. Like, had he like not turned his head at the last second, you know, Damn, it would have been depressing, but thankfully he's alive. I hope he stays alive, and I hope Biden stays alive until January 21st. You know, so then we won't have President Harris. That's what I'm hoping. Hopefully he'll remain the nominee. If not, I mean, if, if Harris would lose ha more, harder against Trump than Biden, then oh, fuck yeah, then I hope he's replaced with Harris. Or some other candidate, I don't know. So hopefully that happens. Or, and hope, or hopefully it doesn't happen. Either way, I just hope Trump wins massively so then the empire will definitely collapse hard and stuff and the human race will finally be set freed that's what i'm hoping so yeah anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next gameplay series all right bye everyone